Good morning. I'm Pippa Harris, BAFTA's Chair, and I'm delighted to welcome you all to our home at 195 Piccadilly for the announcement of this year's EE British Academy Film Awards nominations. 2018 has been one of the best years at the UK box office for nearly 50 years, and you're about to see the extraordinary range of films that have contributed to this. There's a well-known saying that a week is a long time in politics, and I think we'd all agree with that given the recent turbulent times. But if a political week feels like a long time, then try living through the past 12 months in the film business. It is scarcely credible that it was only a year ago that the serious revelations of bullying and harassment started to come out in our industry. Since then, there have been a series of seismic developments resulting in the birth of Me Too and the Time's Up movement. Voices, especially women's voices, which for too long have gone unheard or even deliberately silenced, have finally been listened to. Progress has been made, but there is still clearly more work to be done by all of us. Here at BAFTA, we have always championed everybody's right to work in a safe, professional environment, free from any kind of bullying or harassment. Since the last film awards, we've worked with our colleagues to introduce the first pan-industry guidance and principles against bullying and harassment, which I am pleased to say have now been accepted as the norm by companies and individuals alike. Our other focus this past year has been to provide crucial support and advice on career paths for those from underrepresented groups within our industry so that anyone, regardless of background, gets the chance to succeed and tell the stories that matter to them. Initiatives like BAFTA Elevate, which last year supported 15 talented female directors, and this year is focused on writers from underrepresented groups, provide concrete, practical help. Also, for the first time this year, we've made the BFI's diversity standards compulsory for all those wishing to enter our debut or best British film categories. I'm delighted to say that this change has been warmly welcomed by practitioners, studios, and distributors. Working together, we can ensure that our industry and the films we make truly reflect the full, wonderful diversity of the society we live in. Now for the EE British Academy Film Award nominations. Six and a half thousand BAFTA members have deliberated and diligently voted for this year's nominees. This is the moment to celebrate and showcase the extraordinary skill and creativity of those talented people behind and in front of the camera. Ten categories will be revealed with the full list available exclusively on our website, BAFTA.org, immediately after the announcement. First, here's a reminder of the EE Rising Star Award nominees that were announced last week. The winner will be voted for by the public. But now, to announce the nominations, please welcome two hugely gifted actors, Hayley Squires, who received a BAFTA nomination herself for I, Daniel Blake, and recently starred in the films In Fabric and Happy New Year, Colin Bursted, and Will Poulter, star of Black Mirror Bandersnatch and Detroit, and soon to be seen in the film Midsummer. Hayley and Will, please reveal the nominations. Uh, good morning. It's a real honour to be here with Hayley to announce the nominations. The nominations for Supporting Actor are Adam Driver for Black Klansman, Mahershala Ali for Green Book, Richard E. Grant for Can You Ever Forgive Me, Sam Rockwell for Vice, and Timothy Chalamet for Beautiful Boy. The nominations for Supporting Actress are Amy Adams for Vice, Claire Foy for First Man, Emma Stone for The Favourite, Margot Robbie for Mary Queen of Scots, Rachel Weisz for The Favourite. The nominations for Adapted Screenplay are Spike Lee, David Rabinowitz, Charlie Vactel, and Kevin Wilmot for Black Klansman, Nicole Hall of Senna and Jeff Whitty for Can You Ever Forgive Me, Josh Singer for First Man, Barry Jenkins for If Bill Street Could Talk, 
and Bradley Cooper, Will Fetters, and Eric Roth for A Star Is Born. The nominations for original screenplay are Janusz Gwawadzki, Pavel Pawlikowski for Cold War, Deborah Davis, Tony McNamara for The Favourite, Brian Curry, Peter Farrelly, and Nick Balalonga for Green Book, Alfonso Cuaron for Roma, Adam McKay for Vice. The nominations for animated film are Incredibles 2, Isle of Dogs, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. The nominations for director are Spike Lee for Black Klansman, Pavel Pawlikowski for Cold War, Yorgos Lanthimos for The Favourite, Alfonso Cuaron for Roma, and Bradley Cooper for A Star Is Born. The nominations for leading actor are Bradley Cooper for A Star Is Born, Christian Bale for Vice, Rami Malek for Bohemian Rhapsody, Steve Coogan for Stan and Ollie, and Viggo Mortensen for Green Book. The nomination for leading actresses are Glenn Close for The Wife, Lady Gaga for A Star Is Born, Melissa McCarthy for Can You Ever Forgive Me, Olivia Coleman for The Favourite, Viola Davis for Widows. The nominations for Outstanding British Film are Beast, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favourite, McQueen, Stan and Ollie, and You Were Never Really Here. The nominations for Best Film are Black Klansman, The Favourite, Green Book, Roma, and A Star Is Born. And finally, these are all 41 of the feature films with nominations this year. You can discover more about these amazing films and the talented people behind them by following BAFTA online over the coming weeks. Congratulations to all the nominees. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you. So please join us on Sunday the 10th of February at London's Royal Albert Hall with our host Joanna Lumley. The ceremony will be broadcast on BBC One and live coverage of the red carpet arrivals on social media. Thank you. Thank you all for coming.